welcome back everyone to part four of me encapsulating glitter on a short nail and on this last final one i am going in with some mylar so mylar is lovely gives off a lovely effect i can't remember where i got this one from i've had it a long time um so yeah i'm gonna go in with one layer of this pink from the gel bottling it's called june and then that will have a 60 second cure Okay, so that's had a cure and now I'm going in with a very thin layer of base coat. Just super thin, wiping off any excess because we don't want to create any bulk. And this is the mylar I'm going to use today. I'm just going to pop that into my triangle part because I want to use... Um, they're all random shapes when you use mylar, but because I'm doing it on a short nail, I obviously don't want some huge chunks. So, and if you've got bigger chunks, make sure they go in more of the centre of the nail rather round than on the free edge cuticle or the side walls, because you want to keep those nice and thin. So this piece here was um really did stick up quite a bit so i just popped it turned it round the other way so it sat flat on the nail and this is it with mylar they're all random shapes um and yeah it they do bend and stick up so you want to try and get those flat pieces the good thing with mylar is that you can file into it and it does not um affect the final look so again i'm going to speed this up because i am a faffa um, but yeah i'm just placing this all over the nail getting as much coverage as i can and then when i'm happy that will have a 60 second cure so i'll just let you watch this bit Okay, so once I'm happy that will have a 60 second cure <clears throat> and as you'll see I do pat it down slightly with my finger only do this if you have a glove on and then yeah so I've gone back in now with another layer of base coat and I am going in with a second layer of mylar this is going to give it some depth and yeah just fill in the rest of those gaps Okay, so that's had its cure. Now I'm going to go in again with another thin layer of base coat to encapsulate that second layer of mylar. There are still lumps and bumps on this nail, but we are going to buff them away. So I'll let you watch this bit. It does look stunning. I do like mylar some beautiful colours in there, very iridescent. So I'm just wiping off that tacky layer. As you can see from me wiping it away, there is, you know, it is lumpy bumpy as you can see here. 
but don't worry. So we're gonna get a buffer. I'm gonna buff all that away, make it super smooth. And then I'm gonna go in with Mega Gloss. You can see I keep feeling the nail with my finger just to make sure it's nice and smooth and just keep working at it until I'm happy. Again, don't worry about filing into the mylar because it's not going to affect that final look. Wiping off that final bit of dust with some IPA. Okay, you can still see it's nice and thin. Still a couple of bumps on there. But here I'm going in now with Mega Glass, which is a thicker consistency, and this is going to smooth everything out and make it super shiny. So you can see I'm just floating it on. And I'm going to turn this nail upside down just so gravity can pull that gel back into the center of the nail. When I stop faffing. Cap that edge. See, I'm just working my gel up that center of the nail. There we are. Turn it upside down, whack it in the lamp for a 60 second cure. Okay, here's some shots and I do again take it out of the finger just so you can see how thin it still is. No bulk, super flat, super shiny. And that's how I like to encapsulate mylar in a short nail using gel polish. Guys, I hope you enjoyed these little mini tutorials and found them useful. Uh, please give me a thumbs up. If you've not already subscribed, please consider doing so. Hit that notification bell so you are notified when I do more videos. And uh, yeah, thanks ever so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.